Welcome to the parish announcements for the week leading up to Sunday, March 19th, the fourth Sunday of Lent, believe it or not, the fourth Sunday. This coming Sunday, we'll have session two of a three-part series entitled, What the Hell is Wrong with Us? The parish clergy have been offering this series based on the three renunciations that we make in our baptismal promises. This week, uh, Jenny Ovenstone will lead us on a presentation about question number two, Will you renounce the evil powers of this world which corrupt and destroy the creatures of God? So we'll be looking at the problem of sin and evil in terms of systemic sin, evil done on our behalf, uh, ev evil uh, that happens without our intent. Uh, important uh, conversations. I hope you'll join us. And if you can't join us in person, uh, it is available, recorded, and online. You can watch uh, the whole series as it unfolds. Also, remember, Compline by Candlelight at 7.30. Thank you for doing your part to keep our parish uh, Lenten discipline of one hour of worship every week. As we reach the fourth Sunday of Lent, it's time to begin thinking ahead, looking ahead to Palm Sunday, all the liturgies of Holy Week, and of course, Easter. I hope you start thinking now about the liturgies you'll be attending. And if I can heartily recommend and encourage Palm Sunday, Good Friday, and Easter. Uh, get those dates on your calendar. And there are three forward-looking things that delight me, make me very happy. They're signs of great hope and vitality for our community. One is St. Paul's dinner groups are returning. There'll be spring and summer. Uh, look for details. It'll look a little different than it has in the past, but it will be great fun and opportunity for fellowship and to meet people across this large parish of ours. Uh, the second is that um, parish pilgrimages return. Uh, the one, the biblical journey to Turkey and Greece is already filled for June, but there's one uh, coming in the fall, so look for details about that. And then last but certainly not least, Shrimon is back uh, in full force, uh, May 19 through 21. I mention it today because the deadline for registration is March 20th, so it's coming up. And we have just confirmed our speaker, which is, I'm so pleased, uh, Tracy Radochevic, who is a well-known storyteller and part of her portfolio, she's well-known as a biblical storyteller. It should be great fun for people of all ages. Lots of signs of hope around us this spring, a wonderful Lenten journey, a time to deepen our faith and reconnect with God and one another. Really exciting times. I look forward to seeing you in the coming days. If not in person, I look forward to seeing you online.